Hey, I'm Pro Fighter Sean Fagan, and by the end of this video, you'll have seven badass heavy bag drills that you can use for your MMA, Muay Thai, or kickboxing training. So stay tuned because at the end, I have a special download that you can do to keep track of your heavy bag workouts. You're gonna love it. All right, drill number one are combos with a kick finish. And this is usually hand combinations. You could mix in some elbows and knees if you like as well. But the idea is that you're throwing your hands at first to set up your kicks because a lot of the times if you just throw your kicks without any type of setup, it's easy for your opponent to block or check it. So throw some hand combinations and finish with a kick. Drill two, same concept, you're throwing combinations. Now this could be punch combinations, kick combinations, whatever it may be, but you wanna exit with the teep. Cause a lot of the times when you throw combinations, your opponent's gonna try to come right back at you. So getting used to throwing some type of defensive maneuver like a teep or a jab is super crucial to make sure you avoid counters. This third drill, we're focusing on the hook kick or the hook roundhouse. And this is a simple combination, obviously, but it's super, super effective, especially if you can get the timing and change your level. So we're gonna be drilling this over and over again. And if you like this video and like these drills, make sure you give it a thumbs up so I know I'm doing a good job and I can keep coming out with more videos just like this one. Drill four is same, same, but different than drill number three. We're just working off the cross and going into a switch kick. And we'll start with the low switch kick, move to the body, and then move to the head. The same concept applies. You want to try to set up your kicks with punches. And then being able to change the levels and make it look the same is a great way to land certain kicks, whether it's the body, head, or leg. Now this drill is an MMA specific drill where you're focusing on the sprawl after you throw any type of striking combination. Now this is super important if you're a striker in MMA who's trying to avoid being taken down. And I don't fight MMA, but if I did, this would be a go-to drill. So this way I can get really good at the sprawl and defending those takedowns. So, so building this into your muscle memory is super important and it's great conditioning at the same time. Next drill we're going into is the basic combo pyramid. So I'll start with a jab kick, then jab cross switch kick, then jab cross hook kick, then jab cross hook cross switch kick. And then I'll go back down to the jab cross hook kick, jab cross switch kick, jab kick, and then I'll go right back up. So jab cross switch kick, jab cross hook kick, Jab, cross, hook, cross, kick, and then I'll go right back down. So whichever punch you finish with, you throw the opposite kick. But you could also switch it up and do the exact opposite. It's up to you. Now before I get into this 30-30-30 technique, speed, and power drill, I want to give a quick shout out to Shane Faison for Fight Tips because he gave me the idea for this drill. And make sure if you're enjoying this video, subscribe because I'm coming out with a bunch more in the very near future that you're not going to want to miss out. But essentially the way this drill works is that the, for the first 30 seconds, focusing on technique. Everything's nice and tight, nice and crisp. I want to be loose and relaxed and driving through all my punches and trying to get as perfect technique as possible. Possible. The next 30 seconds I'm focusing on speed so everything as you can see is as fast as possible whether it's combinations or single strikes I want to flow and I want to make sure I'm not telegraphing any of my punches so obviously the technique might not be perfect because you're going as fast as you can but the idea is you want to just keep the body moving keep the heart rate up and make sure all your punches and kicks are coming out as fast as possible. So this last drill is one of my favorites. You're just chucking power 100% with your kicks, your punches, with everything you're doing. It's intention to hurt and break bones. So leave it all hang loose at this point and make sure you're driving through with your kicks, with your punches and everything. So those are seven of my favorite heavy bag drills that any fighter or martial artist can use. But I'd love to hear your input. Which one was your favorite and why? Or was there a drill that you feel like I missed out on that I should have added to this video? Whatever it is, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you want even more, 
to take your training to the next level and all you need is a heavy bag and you don't need a training partner you can do this in the comfort of your own home or a gym then make sure you check out my free masterclass where I'll show you how to use this bad boy to its fullest potential because you being your own best training partner and your own best teacher is what's going to take your talents and your skill to the next level so I want to show you exactly how to do that so this way you can see the results as quickly as possible if that sounds like something you want click on the link in the description or this button right here and I'll see you inside Thank you.